Hey guys, everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I will be showing you how to install the long awaited iOS 7. So, it has just dropped for developers only, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it on your iPhone 5, on your iPhone 4S, all iPads up from the second generation, and the iPod 5th generation. This is a very fast install, it's a breeze. I mean, anyone can do this, and you don't have to have a registered UD ID in order to do this. However, I would recommend you do register it. I mean, it's fast, it's not free, but it is cheap and you'll get a much better experience. But in general, guys, if you do wanna do this, you can do this absolutely free and all information and links are down below in the description for iOS 7. So just to show you real quick, this is legit. This is iOS 7 running on my iPhone 5. You know, you have all the toggles down here. If you still don't believe me, we can go into settings. And as you can see right there, iOS 7.0. Now make sure you are getting your iOS device version specific firmware. So there are two different iPhones, the A1429 version and the A1428 version. Make sure you do get the correct one. I mean, it may take a while to download right now because the demand is so high, but it will die down in a little bit. Anyways, make sure you do have that file downloaded on your desktop iPhone plugged in and let's go ahead and begin. Now at the moment as it is, you guys will most likely have to use a program like uTorrent in order to download the iOS 7 beta download. And unless you do wanna pay $99 to get that download, you will have to use a torrent program. Links will be down below in the description. I don't provide them, however, a different website does and you'll get all of them there, but it may take you a while, but eventually you guys will get your firmware file. Anyways, make sure it is plugged in and open up iTunes. So click on your iPhone and now you want to hold option on Mac or shift on Windows and left click update. So basically navigate to wherever your IPSW is and go ahead and select open. Now I'm not actually going to restore to it right now because I just installed it and I want to go ahead and check it out some more. But I got to say this works. It works flawlessly and you guys don't need to actually activate it or anything. Your iPhone will go ahead and activate on its own and you know, you'll be taken right to iOS 7 where you can go ahead and explore this amazing interface. I didn't notice any bugs right now. It works flawlessly. So in my next video, I will be giving you guys a better preview of iOS 7, just show you all the new features that do exist over here. Yeah, and I do hope this video did help you guys out. You know, if you have any kind of comments, leave them down below in the description, like this video. It does help me in return and subscribe for many more iOS 7 videos. Have a great day guys. Enjoy iOS 7. Peace.